Told you earlier that today is National College Colors Day, but tomorrow is International Bacon Day. These two days back to back, absolute genius. Pigskin and bacon, nothing better. Well, of course, we had to do a story on International Bacon Day, right? Now, when we said man candy today, uh, segment producer Christina Savino went, I got this. Ignite on Larimer Street makes something called man candy. So we sent Christina out to check it out. I'm at Ignite Burgers and Lounge with GM Jay Kessler. We're in the kitchen because they have a dish called man candy, and I had to check it out. It might not be what you think it is, but I think it's going to be even better. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? So our man candy is uh, essentially candy bacon, um, but it kind of hits all the notes of the flavor profile, so uh, savory, sweet, and spicy. So what goes into it? Well, the whole process takes about an hour, um, and then we start with um, sugar, molasses, crushed red pepper, kosher salt, black pepper. Why don't you show me where to start with all of this first? So what you really want to do is that we have your, we do big batches of this because we go through so much man candy. So you want to take this big bowl okay. and you just want to put these first three ingredients, the black pepper first, go ahead and dump it in the sugar. No preference on what goes first? Nope, you just dump and go. Okay, this and then is you got fun. Crushed red pepper right behind that. And then your kosher salt. Some salt. Get nice and mixed up in here. You can just dump the whole thing in there. Ooh. I can smell that pepper. Now we add the molasses. And that's kind of what binds it all together. So essentially, we've, we've made spicy brown sugar. I'm making my own man candy. You just want to leave some air bubbles, some nice little spread across the bacon. Am I putting like too much on? No, this is fine. So what's next with this? This goes into a 350 degree oven for seven minutes. OK. And after about 15 minutes and 45 minutes of cooling, we get the final product. So you go, go ahead and grab a piece. Right now? Right now. OK. My man candy, everyone. Yummy. Christina's here. Madonna had her boy toys. You've got your man candy. How was it? I mean, that was all the man candy that I needed for the day. It was probably one of the best pieces of bacon that I've ever had. It kind of had that sweet and spicy thing going on, yeah. the brown sugar and the chili pepper. It was delicious. Well, uh, not only is there man candy, but there's also a, a bacon-flavored drink yes. that you also tested out there? It's a man, a man candy Manhattan. Manhattan. Where it's kind of different, but it's good different. They garnish the cocktail with a piece of their man candy. So I uh, got to taste it. And a lot of people, they told me to dip the bacon in the cocktail, which is really awesome. It pairs really nicely, though, because they put oh. Tabasco in the cocktail. Well, it's like a, a, an overdose of bacon. But I don't think I guess, there's anything I don't think wrong that with that. There's such a thing, is there? I always say that the uh, the thing that smells up your house the best is when you cook bacon in the morning. Yeah, there is no doubt when you come down for breakfast and bacon's on. There's bacon flavored vodka every day. Everything goes with bacon. Christina, thank I need you so to get much. Some of that. Good work. Still.